Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel putting up the pom-poms and here we have my oldest daughter Kalia and we are doing this Bantu knot style with a wash and go in the back. Yes it is wash and go season. The weather is warming up in North Carolina and I just love for Kalia to rock her curls during this time of the year. So we're going to show you guys how we achieve this looks and the products used. Let's get into it. All right, let's start with the formalities. If you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family. We would love to have you into all of my beautiful returning subscribers. Hey, mama. Hey, friend. Hey, sis. Hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So let's go ahead and get into this real quick. So here we have Kalia here. She is freshly washed. And as you see, I am inspecting her scalp. Yes, ma'am. Scalp health is the key. To healthy growing hair so I'm making sure that we had a good wash and go I'm not I'm making sure she doesn't have any product build up on the scalp there's no extreme flaking or anything like that now of course anything that's outside of my expertise like if I see a medical issue going on with her scalp I definitely will be referring to a doctor not everything is solved with hair products I, I love you guys but I'm sorry if the hair is damaged the scalp is bad go see a doctor there's just no home remedy I can give to cure that so anyways, let's go ahead and move on. So I went, I'm sectioning off the front half of her hair. I'm doing an ear to ear part going across the crown. And as you can see, I'm kind of struggling getting that hair to part. And that's because I have not detangled her hair yet. I knew I was going to do a wash and go and I usually work in small sections when I do her wash and go. So I figured I would just wait to do the tangle when I'm actually styling her hair. That's not usual for me because I prefer having her hair heavily conditioned before I start detangling. But anywho, we're going to move past that. So I'm going in with this Camille rose honey leave-in absolutely love this stuff if you suffer with dry hair this is the product you need to try absolutely now it is a little weird it took me a little bit to kind of get used to the the feel of it and that texture of the leave-in it's not like your typical leave-in it has like this kind of oily consistency to it but it's creamy I don't know it's a little weird but I say I love it I love it then I'm going in with a leave-in conditioner on top of another leave-in conditioner yeah I know well this one's more of a lotion this is a daily moisturizing lotion and it just helps soften the hair so I can go in detangled I'm then going to go in with my Ride or Die Shine Effects Conditioning Gel for her edges because we got to make sure them edges is laid and them parts are crisp, okay? If there is one thing that I want you to take away from my channel is to make sure them edges is laid and them parts are crisp. Now, granted, I don't know how to lay baby hairs. That's not the kind of laid I'm talking about. I'm talking about that slick down, clean laid. If you talk about anything about some baby hairs, honey, that's outside my expertise and I'm gonna leave that alone. So here I am performing a Bantu knot and what I do is kind of like twist down the shaft of her hair and I try not to do it tight around her roots because we're gonna start wrapping that hair around and you don't want a lot of tension. So this is where you're going to listen to your child's or you know, your hair follicles if you're performing this style on yourself. And if your hair follicles and your scalp is screaming it's probably too tight and you probably need to loosen it we don't want to cause any kind of retraction alopecia okay so I make sure to ask clear or I look for those signs where I know that the hair may be too tight and I go back and readjust it until it's comfortable enough okay it's, it's okay to not have your scalp screaming when you do a hairstyle I don't think that that is the proper way to style your hair anyway so I definitely try to look for those signs now that has something that is something I've had to relearn myself because growing up if your hair won't tight your hair won't done but you know, I don't believe in that now and I'm trying to teach my girls the same thing if the hairstyle is uncomfortable let me know so we can readjust so I'm creating bantu knots across the entire front of her head and I decided to do triangle parts to kind of make it you know look a little decorative cuteness which is super easy all you're doing is some diagonal you know I don't feel like you can mess that up not as bad as I mess up a straight part so you know, I felt like this is the best way for me to do it. So after we do that, we're then gonna move on to the back where we're going to do her wash and go. So here her hair is in all its glory. It has dried out a little bit. So of course I'm gonna add some more water to it so we can hydrate it again. And I'm going to section off the very back and then work that water in and then we're going to add our products again the same ones that we used before the honey leave-in and the daily moisturizing cream but we're going to add a different product so we can get those curls defined Thank you. 
So I'm using my tangle teaser to uh, make sure her hair is free from any kind of knots or tangles. And then I'm going to go in with this cream of nature snot. That's what they call it, snot. Um, this stuff is thick, thicker than a snicker, okay? Very, very thick, and I am very generous with this product. So I went in with my first little snippet, and then I'm going to go back in and add a little bit more. Now, this section is a little bit bigger than I usually do, but I was kind of in a hurry. So if you can, do the sections a lot smaller, and the curls can be a lot more defined the smaller the sections. But, honey, I was in a hurry. Like I said, I mentioned before, she ain't the only head I got to do, so I'm trying to hurry this along. So I'm just working it in, and I'm kind of just finger shingling. I believe that's what this, this method is called, where you're just kind of like detangling and taking your hands and just smoothing the product through. I went in with the brush again because I felt like it wasn't smoothing as well as I wanted it to. Um, and then we're going to go on to the next section. Again, my sections are too big. So make your sections a little bit smaller, especially if you are a beginner to wash and goes, and just work your way in. Finger tangle, detangling is definitely one of my many methods for detangling Kalia's hair, especially when it is wildly tangled and has several knots in it. And then I work in with my tangle teaser and I still continue to finger detangle as I'm still using the tangle teaser, especially if I come across a knot that is just like not having it. So again, going in with that knot, very thick, thick stuff. Um, it smells like argon oil, not the best smelling hair product, but it does the job when it comes to Kalia's curls. Do you see how gorgeous those curls look? How defined they are? Gets rid of all of that frizz for her and when it dries, it looks even better. Once I work through all of her hair, I'm then gonna go in with my blow dryer and diffuse her hair. I have it on a high speed, but it's on low heat. And I do this for probably about 20 minutes. It doesn't really take long for Kalia's hair to dry. Um, and then I'm gonna go in with this BTL hair oil. I received this stuff a couple of weeks ago and I'm still working on my review. I know a lot of people wanna know if I like it or not, but I feel like with hair products, you gotta use them a couple of times for you to, you know, find out the longevity and all that good stuff. So hopefully by next week, I can let y'all know whether or not I like it. So I'm just kind of going in and scrunching that oil in and that's just kind of like breaking the cast of the gel because the gel does dry or not the gel the snot does dry hard but this is what we're working with yes yes absolutely so I can't let y'all go without letting y'all know her nighttime routine because I know I get 50 million questions on Instagram about Kalia's nighttime routine honey I keep it simple I'm a mama of three I am not trying to take 20 30 minutes trying to get her ready for bed so all I do is take these two jumbo silk or satin scrunchies and you see that boom just like that and add on that bonnet and honey go to bed i will see you in the morning and that is it y'all thank you for joining us in another tutorial don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to share our video we are on the way to 10,000 subscribers that is our goal for 2022 and we are grateful for having you we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe